Today I wanted to share how I clean soft sculptured Cabbage Patch dolls. Now these are handmade. My guy in particular, Baby Otis here, is from 1987 so he's really old and it can be concerning and kind of intimidating to wash something this old and this delicate and I thought I'd film this because I don't personally have the money to buy a lot of soft sculpture dolls and so Baby Otis was <laughs> like really special treat that I've wanted since I got into Cabbage Patches and he's also really dirty so I thought he would be a perfect demonstration and I'm thinking the reason he's so dirty is because he hasn't been cleaned thoroughly in a long time yeah so um, I got my doll on eBay and this is how he arrived I will show you um, a comparison of my other softy whose skin should be the same color and of a white item so you can see how dingy his like diaper and hat are I got him on eBay and he came with everything except his baby blanket so he has his rattle, he has this extra book thing, and then he has all of his paperwork in this envelope here which is really cool considering how gnarly he is, just like his general state of neglect. It's the paperwork looks like new. And you can see that this person who sold him on eBay must have got him from maybe an antique store or something because you can see there was the price there $500 firm which I got him for $107 that included the tax and shipping so I think I did pretty good <laughs> um, I definitely would not have paid $500 so he's worth it so look at those <laughs> so eyes big. this is um, something white this is a Kuliko cabbage patch dress and you can see here how dingy especially the back of the diaper how dingy it is and the hat is really disgusting I actually thought in the photos the hat looked questionable but I couldn't honestly tell for sure if it was just the quality of the picture and then this is Ralphie he's my only other softy and he I got him in like the complete opposite condition he didn't have any of his original stuff but you can see how much like cleaner and brighter he looks especially Otis's eyes are really really dusty and kind of cloudy looking for that reason whereas Ralphie is very bright and fresh. Ralphie's actually older than Otis so yes. he's an 85. So I'm going to show you how to safely clean their outfits and the dolls themselves. Um, I've cleaned Ralphie this way and he was absolutely fine and this is actually pretty much how I clean a regular um, manufactured Cabbage Patch doll with plastic head. I just clean the plastic head with dish soap and baking soda and a toothbrush and I do it a few times then you just wash them the same way from here on out. So first I'm preparing to wash the clothes. I'm heating up some water in my kettle because I need to dissolve OxyClean. I'm not supposed to use it with boiling water but because of how raunchy his clothes are honestly I find that the only way to really lift out all those stains and to really brighten it up is by making the water boiling or close to boiling so I have OxyClean here it doesn't matter the brand it can be any oxygen based cleaner but this is really going to take the years of like grime away I just couldn't find any at the dollar store and then I have color catchers for his uh, clothes I have a thing of homemade laundry detergent and then the bucket I'm going to be soaking the clothes in so Colleen's undressing Otis for the first time once in a while I will photograph my secondhand dolls clothes for my Flickr guide right away before they're washed but um, most of the time, I'd rather them look really, really clean. Look how new that looks inside. I know. Being really careful with the safety pins. Yeah, and I want to wash them separately because they have metal. See, I don't want to soak them. And I obviously don't want to clean the rattle in like soapy water. Oh, look at the difference in the inside and the outside of the diaper. Do you see that? Do you see? Oh my god. So it is supposed to be um, a slightly creamy color, but <laughs> not custard yellow. This shirt actually reminds me of your, um, the one that you have with the screen printed lab shirt because it's like a similar blue and it has like the same kind of. He's the most beautiful thing ever. Um, right now he's the dirtiest <laughs> thing ever. So I wanted to show you a difference in his cleanliness. So this is his arm and this is his back and you can actually see the lines 
like tan lines <laughs> with their dirt lines. <laughs> and then his, he was wearing the bonnet. So you can see the difference between the back of his head and his, <laughs> his raunchy cheeks face. are filthy. And Colleen has really bad allergies. So as soon as we pulled him out of the plastic bag, I was sneezing. He was in, she was sneezing. So he really needs a bath. And like, I don't think a lot of people appreciate how much plush items, like how much like dirt and dander and germs they hold. So they think they can surface clean it. But like, it's something this old, he's like 30. Six he's my almost. age, so he's uh, hey, 35 almost. Sorry. Younger than me, <laughs> little jerk. He just really gnarly, especially given how many hands he's been through to just surface wash him. It would not clean him out. Okay, so the water's boiling. I'm gonna unplug that. First, we're gonna make the concoction here. We're gonna put our laundry detergent in there. And Colin, do you wanna put the OxyClean in? Yes. Baby Otis is not being hand washed. I'll show you what I do with him. So you wanna be, we're gonna be really generous with this. I had to use about four scoops to get stains out of my kusa, so. I'm actually thinking the kusa was filthier. Yeah. <laughs> right, and then what I'm gonna do, pour this in, whole thing. Leave that open dry, and then, and we'll put some color catchers in. These are to absorb any dye that bleeds out. You can tell I reuse them. Yeah, you want to flip the diaper upside down oh, so, yeah. the, ow, so <laughs> the dirty side is in the water. Sorry, I, uh, I don't feel the heat. <laughs> and then um, these toothbrush. <laughs> it's probably going to need to be topped off with some water. Let's see, I should flip this hat upside down. See how foamy it is? You want that. And it might need a couple repeated washes. I actually don't think it needs more water. I think it just needs to get like... So we're in my laundry room. I do have some clothes in here to wash with him and I just cleaned out my machine yesterday, like scrubbed it down because I have pets and I wash their stuff all the time. And uh, let's just put it this way. Sometimes there's hay from my guinea pigs or little poops that somehow made it in. <laughs> so. Pillowcase is very important. We're gonna put Otis in the pillowcase. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put OxyClean in the pillowcase with him. Now he might need to be like spot treated after, but I'm hoping that this will be enough. And then what I'm gonna do is I have this laundry sanitizer. This is just something I buy to do like smelly laundry from because I work on a farm so it helps kill the odors but I'm gonna add the recommended amount to my washing machine just because I feel like it extra disinfects and then I always like to put stuff directly in the pillowcase because I don't know I feel like it cleans better so I'm gonna put a little bit of gain which I normally don't use on my laundry but I use it for like cleaning the carpets so then Putting that in, I'm going to tie a really good knot so that this doesn't come undone. And then I'm going to put them in here. And the reason why having clothes in with them is a good idea is because it's a buffer. And then I'm going to put it on hot, the hot cycle. And I'm just going to put it on like a regular light cycle because that's how I wash drowsy. And then I'm going to put my regular detergent in for the other clothes. work he's going to wash in his cycle and I'll be back to put him in the dryer because softies can go in the dryer the ones with plastic heads obviously cannot I don't know how well the camera's gonna pick up on it but the color of the water is a dark brown it's like, the color out of his hat was. Um, it's like when I shampoo the carpets and I dump out the dirty water tank that's what it looks like. This has never been washed. So this is like, you know, 34 years of grime and a doll that's probably never been washed, but it's like just shelf dust. That's just how dusty you got. This isn't like Tucker who's not too much older and looks like he was eating Cheetos <laughs> with his paws. He's cleaner than Tucker. This is why dusting and maintaining your dolls is so important, folks. <laughs> this is what happens. <laughs> So I'm about to transfer him to the dryer. I put all my other clothes in, but I just wanted to show you that his face paint is fine. It's exactly as it was when I 
put him in to go to the wash. So I'm just going to stick him in the dryer and run him through like I normally would. You can air dry them, um, but there's nothing wrong with putting them in the dryer. Ralphie was fine. So it just takes quicker um, than letting him air dry by the wood stove. But for a Cabbage Patch doll with the plastic head, uh, you would definitely want to hang them to air dry. So I've re-knotted the pillowcase and he's going to go in. So Otis made it into the dryer and I don't know if you can really see how disgusting this water is. So it looks like most of these items are a lot brighter, but the hat is going to need a second soak, so I'm just going to repeat the process. But we're going to rinse these out in cold water and hang what doesn't need a second treatment out to dry. So Otis's hat was still really dingy looking along the rim and the little ear flaps. So what I did is I soaked it one more time in OxyClean and it didn't make much of a difference. So that would be three total soaks in OxyClean in hot, hot water. So right now what's in here is just some bleach. I have the middle part kind of puffed up so this tag isn't near the bleach and I'm only going to let it soak for about five minutes just enough to take away that remaining brownish yellowish dingy thing um, coating around the rim and ear flaps and then I'm going to rinse it really good and put it out to dry. So Otis came with this metal duck rattle which is super cute but as you can see it looks like a brassy color because of how badly it tarnished. So I needed to take care of that and being metal you can't just wash it with water and soap so I used vinegar and baking soda and it makes this foamy reaction and then I just scrubbed it into the duck all over and it took off all of the tarnish from all those decades it worked wonderfully so as you could see I was using a mixture of baking soda and vinegar on this metal duck because you have to be careful when cleaning metal you don't want to use anything that's going to cause it to rust and I used this very simple elixir to save Colleen's 1986 Molly doll, American Girl, you know, the original German versions, because her um, glasses are real metal and they were corroding and I uh, used this and it made them look like new and you can see I haven't done the duck's head yet but I've done this side and then compare that to this side. It's like a totally different color and it's coming off with really no effort. I'm not br brushing it aggressively and you can see that the toothbrush is turning black so I just need to keep you know giving them a little scrubbies and you know maybe I'll probably need a little bit more baking soda and vinegar but it's super easy and safe and it's a great way to clean up your tarnished metal doll items or just tarnished metal items in general I use this to clean the buildup on uh, my sinks because we have really hard water here and it works great and it's safe it's natural but it's very powerful so after I finished scrubbing the duck, I just used a clean rag to wipe the mixture off. Clearly you don't want to rinse it because that would make it rust. You don't want water on it and it doesn't leave any kind of odor. So all of Otis's things are clean, as is he. He has a little bit of lint on him because I dressed him in something else last night after he was all out of the dryer. But you can see how much cleaner his head looks and his paint is in wonderful condition. The back of his head and the little tan lines are gone. Again, if you see any like blue fuzzy looking stuff, it's because he, yeah, I'm in like the red in his bum. <laughs> that's from his clothes. Uh, that's his embroidered bum stamp. You can see that he doesn't have gross lines anymore. He's got really clean little feet. He's in much, much better condition, and he smells good too. That's why I added the gain to his pillowcase more so for odor. This is his um, original shirt. You can see the decal is fine, and it looks like a nice, fresh, bright blue, not a dingy one. And the interesting thing is a lot of the soft sculptured clothes from what I've seen are actually made out of real baby clothes. So this, and for that reason, when I finish hand washing this, I just kind of put it in the dryer to save time. This is his hat, which it's still a teeny bit damp as I'm filming this, but uh, I wanted to finish this video. So you can see the inside and the outside match. There were a lot of like dust stains on the rim of this before, which is really the only issue I was having. The OxyClean took care of everything else, but this fabric is textured so it clung on to grub and you can see the ear flaps are nice and clean. 
and his little booties <clears throat> cleaned up wonderfully. I did uncuff them to dry them so they would dry better, but they're also a nice clean looking light blue. Then his diaper is absolutely enormous. This cleaned up surprisingly well. I would have only needed to soak it the once, but because it's so large, there was an area that got missed. But this is the backside that was clean to begin with, and this is the part that was really dusty before. And there was like a stain over here that's all gone. So you can see it's very nice and fresh looking. Patch is still intact. And then I cleaned his safety pins the same way I cleaned his little ducky, which is, you can see, like, you can see reflections in it. It's so shiny. And um, it does have some of that, like, UV sort of damage, like that discoloration, but I can take care of that at a later date if I want. And, yeah, everything looks so much cleaner. So I'm going to put Otis in the outfit and finish the video. And here he is, all dressed back up in his cute little original outfit. I struggled with the diaper a little because the fabric is so huge. Um, but he looks so much cleaner, so much fresher, and he's so cuddly. I'm gonna honestly take him out of this and put him back in other clothes because the poor guy's been stuck in this outfit since the 80s. I hope you enjoyed and that this video could help you out if you were wondering how to wash a soft sculptured cabbage patch doll. And until next time, love your dolls, love yourself, and love your life.